So here we are, day one, a school of Trife, starting to install the Renewable Energy Project. It's six months now since the school, school council, which is school children, parents and teachers, got together to decide that it was renewable energy that they were going to work on this year. Uh, fund, raised funds from the Low Carbon Building Programme through Dillis as a framework supplier, uh, but also through the National Park and the local council, and one or two key funds in the area that support um, renewable energy projects. Uh, so the solar goes on today, that's three kilowatts, and the wind turbine in a fortnight's time. So here we are at last, Mr. Mivet. Mm. The panels are finally going on, a scholar trife. This is stage one of the renewable energy project. So what are you thinking? Fantastic. It's just a, it's, it's a momentous day. I mean, the children are going to come back in September and um, quite a different school. I'm quite intrigued to see what the faces on my kids will be like <laughs> when they come sure, back in. Yeah, yeah. The children, are, I think, you know, it's a project that's been led by the children, as you know. And, uh, you know, the fact that these now have been installed today and the fact that we will be producing most of our, of our, of our energy needs in, in September, the children will, will, will feel, I'm sure, quite powerful, really, that they've, been, they've managed to change things, that, they've, that they can do things, that they have an idea, and if the idea is a good one, then they can stick to it and, you know, see fruition like this. So how, how exactly can you use the technology that we're installing mm. today? How are you going to be able to use that in the classroom? Well, I, I'm sure it will enrich the, the curriculum in all the classrooms. Uh, the children will uh, no doubt look at records of energy, looking at the, at the weather, there will be all kinds of aspects of the curriculum that can, that can be covered in, with this project. Uh, it's, it's something that will enrich not only the, the curriculum but their lives really and as I've already mentioned you know they, they will have the knowledge that if they have got a good idea that they can do things, they can change things, they can change the world. That's great and you've got three kilowatts of solar here, mm. the wind turbine arriving in about a yeah. fortnight is yeah. another five kilowatts, yes. pretty much on, you know, on the right days the school's yeah. going to be independent. Yes, it's fantastic. How does that feel? Well it's fantastic, it's fantastic and surely it's the way ahead, it's the way ahead for schools, it's the way ahead for businesses and I'm sure uh, lots of schools and, uh, and individuals will be looking closely at what's happening at the School of Trife here and thinking, well, yes, maybe we can go, we can go in that direction because it's, not, it's obviously the right direction. It's a, it's a direction that we all need to take, really, uh, for the future, for the future of mankind, really. So this is a project funded by the Low Carbon Building Programme, by Gwynedd Council mm -hmm. and, 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 of course, by the Snowdonia National... Right. Here we are installing the Kaiser 130 watt modules into the sun mount system. Um, putting the front edge in first, leading the cables through the spaces provided and then connecting up to the module in front. These recycled plastic trays are designed in a way that uh, basically as the air flows over them with the holes that you can see in the back um, it equals out the air pressure so that the modules and the system does not lift. It's been tested uh, within wind tunnels at the building research establishment at 120 miles an hour and um, for typical roofs like this um, concrete or even membrane where they're more appropriate because you have minimal loading and no need for penetration of the membrane.
This is Ian Dracy from Dillis Limited. Behind me you can see Rob Harris, one of the solar engineers, finishing the installation of the 3 kilowatt peak array at Barmouth School. This particular array is on a flat roof and we don't want to penetrate the roof, so we're using a system called Solion. The Solion system was developed by South Bank University. The idea being that the buckets that are made from recycled plastic interlock. And they were tested in a wind tunnel so that as the wind speed increases, they stick down to the roof. This array will consist of 24 Kyocera KC-130 modules. We're now securing the end caps in place, which hold the modules into the tray, very much like the central caps and this obviously secures the whole system. And here we have the finished product, so this is what a 3 kilowatt sun mount system looks like on a flat roof.